Still, the water still have to be, I would say, in the 50s. Wouldn't say 60s, I would say the water temperature is probably, it's, it's, it's not, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, this is why we need to find her, because, because I personally, I think the water is around 40 I would call that 40, high 40s, 50s, water temp. Definitely not 60s. I would say maybe 40s, high 40s maybe. But I could be wrong. We are at a lake today trying to find some bass. Um, I've been hurting to find any type of fish, so I'm willing to do anything today. Jerk bait, um, about pretty much about anything, honestly. Just trying to find some fish, you know. That's the important thing today is finding fish, seeing what they will eat. If you know what I mean. First off, I'm gonna be starting with a chatter bait seeing if that will work start off with the chatterbait I'm gonna move with the wind right now and if I don't catch anything I will switch to something else so. maybe I have to just slow it down with the jerk bait maybe and if they're not hitting that uh, jig uh, dragging the jig on the bottom is probably like the second option they got some timber, they got rock, um, and grass in this lake. So they have a little bit of everything. This lake is um, very, I would say, um, thought out. Pretty sure this is a man-made lake, just like everything else. So, But they do got wood, a little wood, some rock, and grass. So... up just a little bit all right Spock lock feature so I can really work every single one of these branches you know I can only make a select couple select casts on each bank with this wind blowing the way it is but it's about blowing 10 but it's still dragging me across this lake but that's all right that's not a fish that's a branch. If I ain't never got excited for a branch, that felt pretty good too. Oh. Come on! Don't do me like that. This is how you get your stuff back, guys. You gotta use one arm. There we go. We out. We out. We got her out. That felt really good too. 
felt like money. I ain't never felt money before. On this lipless. You can catch catch them off the lipless year round though, so not really too concerned about not catching any fish with this guy. Cause I know something will eat it. When you trim up your skirt. Helps out a lot. Gives it a smaller profile, especially in these cold water conditions sometimes. Um, it can be pretty good. Let's trim it down just a little bit. Let that thing flare up, you know what I mean? Small presentation jig right there, if you guys can see that. Let's see if we can find some bass. Let's try to focus on throwing this puppy out there. Let's see what we can find. Yo, what's up guys? Bayboy Bass in here. Man, I did not catch nothing in this video. Um, I'm just trying to figure out if I learned anything. Um, for sure it was a great day weather conditions like the weather conditions was awesome couldn't really blame it on the weather now I would say the water was a little chilly I know I said I think it's in the high 40s but it probably was like in the mid to low 40s um, I really couldn't really tell but I know the water temperature was frigid and uh, the, the temperature and like the weather has been kind of uh, different um, it has been a little warm on the warmer side um, but I don't know man I really I'm trying to put everything together on why I didn't even get a single bite that day um, you guys let me know I was throwing the chatterbait uh, jig lipless and that's it like maybe I should have thrown a square bill maybe I should have went a little shallower maybe um, I'm really not sure. Maybe I would, could have focused on some grass. Uh, off the bat, man, when I was throwing the chatterbait out there, I was just like, uh, like, man, I need to fish deeper. Like, maybe I should have went up shallower into some grassy areas. Maybe I should have done that. Um, maybe, you know, that heated up grass, they were probably chasing bait or whatever the case, because I was not getting bit for nothing. I automatically assumed like, man, let's go find some rock. Let's go see if we can catch any fish in that area using a jig. And I was so focused on using the jig, I was dragging that freaking jig forever and I didn't catch anything. And I was a little bit in a little bit of a deeper area, guys. So I don't know. Maybe I should have went deeper. Maybe I should have just tried something a little different. Maybe just tossed it. I didn't toss the jerk bait out there. I, I, that probably was my problem. I should have probably thrown a jerk bait out there, but I didn't. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, you know, we all struggle. Um, just because I don't post videos like this often don't mean I do not struggle. I've been on the struggle bus for a couple weeks now, guys, trying to find a bass. And you, you guys, man, it's, it's not easy. So, if you go out there and get skunked like I do, just know that better days are coming um we're about to get a ton of rain about to get some storms here in tulsa so that's going to shake up uh some things a little bit so hopefully it makes things better i don't know but hey thank you guys for watching um this video if you stayed this far i appreciate your support Make sure you guys keep supporting, liking these videos, watching the full video, guys, if you don't mind. We are trying to break through the YouTube this year, guys. So I appreciate every single one of you guys. We are going to head out. Hopefully, I can get back on the water soon so I can get you guys some content. I appreciate you guys. Let's go.